we tackle the problem of making it easier for humans to specify rewards for an RL agent. As an example, imagine you are training a negotiation agent to represent you in an upcoming negotiation. You're dealing with some important clients, so you want your agent to take a versatile approach. How would you write down a reward for versatile behavior? Objectives like these are easy for humans to understand, but not straightforward to write down for an RL agent. One thing you could do is engineer a reward function, but this requires special knowledge of coding and can be extremely difficult for certain objectives. You could also collect lots of labeled data, but this is tedious and expensive. Instead, we make it easier for humans to communicate their objectives by using natural language, using either a description of their objective or a handful of examples with a label or end explanation. We do this by using an LLM as a proxy reward function in an RL training loop. The high level idea is that we ask the LLM whether agent behavior satisfies a user's goal during RL training. We use this as a reward signal to then train the agent. Why is this advantageous? First, the LLM's in-context learning abilities allows us to be sample efficient. And second, this opens the door for anyone, not just engineers, to communicate their objectives intuitively using language. Let me explain how we accomplish this. We first construct a prompt to feed into the LLM. Our prompts follow this structure. We first start off with a task description, then an example or examples from the user describing the objective. We have an episode outcome from an RL training loop, such as a trajectory, and a, finally a question asking the LLM whether the episode outcome satisfies the user's objective. We then feed this prompt into the LLM and we can prompt the LLM in a way that they provide a yes or no output. We can convert the response into an int using a parser and use that as a reward signal. Using this reward, we perform RL updates and run another episode. And from that, we complete the loop by summarizing the outcome of the episode as a string. And we use a handcrafted parser for this. So that was RL training. And during evaluation, we take our trained RL agent and roll out a trajectory in the test environment. We then evaluate whether that trajectory is aligned with the user's objective. In our paper, we evaluate our framework on three domains, but in this talk, I'm gonna focus on the most complex one, which is a negotiation task called deal or no deal. This is a task where two agents negotiate on how to split a set of shared items by suggesting different proposals. Our goal is to see if our agent can learn to negotiate according to a user's preferred style. So here are the styles that we came up with and we compare against a supervised learning baseline that is trained to predict reward signals using the exact same examples given to the LLM in our framework. So we first evaluate labeling accuracy or how accurately an LLM can produce reward signals with respect to the ground truth reward. We also evaluate how well aligned the trained RL agent is on a test environment. We find that our framework outperforms the baseline and we gather evidence that our framework can indeed train objective aligned agents. So next we ask whether we can produce meaningfully aligned agents when there are no ground truth rewards and when humans evaluate our agents. So we asked 10 users to select a style in which they wanted their agent to negotiate in. We ask them to then select three examples of the user's chosen style. This is then used to train an RL agent using our framework. We also trained an agent to negotiate in the opposite style by flipping the yes, no labels and the user provided explanations. Finally, we ask them to write how well each agent aligned with their chosen style. So the hypothesis is that we should find a significantly large difference between the two RL agents. And this is what we find. We find that uh, users find agents trained with the correct style to be significantly more aligned than an agent trained with the opposite style. So this shows that our framework can train objective aligned agents when evaluated by humans as well. We also asked how data efficient our method is. And we find that a supervised learning model requires in the order of hundreds of additional examples to be comparably accurate to the LLM. So overall, we create an easier interface for users to specify objectives by using an LLM as a proxy reward. Please refer to our paper for more details.